hello everyone welcome back to another session so in this session i am going to cover how to create the payment terms for customer uh, invoice postings and in this session i am going to explain how to create a normal payment terms as well as a payment installment payment term okay so to create the payment terms we need to use a transaction code odb8 and just enter so here you can see sap standard payment terms which has been created by sap and to create the new payment term we need to click on our new entries here and then here you need to mention the payment term name c001 and here i am mentioning 30 days due and here i am selecting only this payment term should be only applicable for only customers and then here we need to select the baseline date uh, first of all what is baseline date baseline date means uh, baseline date derives the due date of a line item so on let's suppose uh, from baseline date uh, will show uh, will actually calculate uh, the from date from which date onwards a uh, system should be calculate uh, the due date okay and here i'm entering the 30 days for example 30 and then click on save here My payment term C001 has been created. Now I'm opening another session and then I will be trying to access to uh, I will try to post one customer invoice with this payment term. Let's see what happened. FB70 here and then select the customer and then I'm entering the document date as 0104 2024 better and for better understanding so now and here also i will be entering 30 days and here i'm mentioning thousand then uh, click on payment enter the payment terms and then here you need to mention the payment term c001 and then hit enter we have entered the payment term and then go one step back here and men mention the sales revenue GLA and then enter the amount and give the profit center as a cost object and then click on post So here we can see document 18001 ending with 1 has been posted in company code 2009. Now we will see uh, in the customer line item report uh, which is a BL5N. So here enter the customer number and company code and then select the open item and execute this. So here we can see this is the document which we have posted with a thousand. So this is now not due. Now come one step back here. Zero one dot zero five and then click on execute. Now here we can see this is a due now. As on May first, twenty twenty four, it's a due because uh, we have applied the payment term which which have a thirty days due. Okay, now. Now we will see how to create the installment payment term. To create this installment payment term, uh, I will be creating three installments. One is first one is for 30 days, second one is for uh, 45 days and third one is for uh, 60 days. Let's see how to create this. Go one step back. So for my 30 days, it's already there and I need to create uh, two more, which is uh, 45 days and uh, 60 days. I am clicking on new entries here C002 45 days baseline date as a document date and then here 45 and then click on save and this will only applicable for customers and go one step back here and then click on again enter C003 
she is uh, 60 days baseline date as the document date and then 60 here only for customers and then save now we have to create another payment term with the installment so it is c004 installment payment terms document date then here uh, select the installment payments and then only for customers and then click on save here so it was saved now now uh, go one step back so here i have created uh, three payment terms total four i have created one is with 30 days 45 days and 60 days these three payment terms we need to assign to uh, the installment payment term which we have created in, uh, just now which is uh, c004 so to assign it use the transaction code opb9 and click on new entries here c004 installment one two three so here per percentage 40 percent first and 30 and then 30 so here c001 c002 c003 and then click on save and go back to the sb70 transaction code okay and to default this payment term at a uh, customer level we need to assign this payment term at a uh, bp master customer master data uh, let me show you how to assign the how to assign it in the uh, customer master access the transaction code bp and then here select the customer and then here uh, give the customer number here and click on start so this is my customer double click this customer and change the business partner role from business partner to customer and then click on company code and then click on edit here and select the customer payment transactions and here we need to enter the payment term then save it so here i have assigned the c004 which is the installment payment method okay now go back and go back to the customer invoice post transaction just enter the company co customer number and the give the date enter the invoice invoice reference here and then enter the amount as a 10,000 and then give the sales revenue GL account and enter the amount and then enter the cost object which is a profit center and hit enter so just check uh, whether the system has derived the payment term or not then click on payment tab here so here we can see c004 has been system has been derived based on our master data assignment so then click on post here so here we can see document 19000 ending with 2 was posted in company code 02009 so here we can see the document in our uh, customer line item report click on uh, list and click on refresh okay once again let me go back execute the report as on date today so here we can see uh, these are the three document three line items which we have posted so first uh, my first installment is uh, 40 percent which is uh, 4000 and then the remaining two are uh, 30 30 in 10,000 40 percent is uh, 4000 and uh, remaining 30 30 means 3000 3000 total 10,000 
okay we can see in one document we have posted one document but system has uh, split it into three line items based on the payment term installment payment term so that's all in this session thank you so much